Hello, welcome to this video series on profiles. In this multi-part series, we will cover what profiles is, the value add of profiles, and a detailed overview of how it works. We will build a profiles project from end to end so that you can see step-by-step -step how it is set up and how it runs. First, let's establish some context on the primary business use cases that profiles is meant to solve for. Most modern businesses capture user behavior in a variety of ways. These user records are often hosted on many different cloud platforms, all with different user identifiers associated with them, which can present data silo issues. Many businesses are able to eliminate those silos by piping the data to their data warehouse. But the user journeys are still scattered across many schemas and tables, which means there needs to be a heavy modeling layer put in place in order to clean and unify all of this data so that it can be used to create accurate customer records. Profiles aims to rapidly speed up this modeling layer within your warehouse. It is a data modeler that runs entirely within your warehouse. You set up a series of YAML configuration files and Profiles will then convert that YAML into SQL code. That SQL will then be deployed into your warehouse. The SQL scripts will extract data from the tables you define as sources, perform all the necessary transformations, joins, and aggregations, ultimately producing valuable tables and views that the business can use for many downstream use cases. All the SQL that is generated and deployed is visible so there is no black box. That being said, Profiles is not meant to model everything in your warehouse. It is meant to solve a very specific issue. That is, ID resolution and feature computation. A core concept of profiles is defining what we call an entity. The entity is a business concept or object that exists within your digital ecosystems that have associated unique identifiers. Profiles will model data around your defined entity, produce an ID graph in order to unify that data across your different systems, and then use that ID graph to produce accurate attributes on top of that entity. Though this problem can be solved with traditional data modeling tools, Profiles is meant to shorten the time to value for data teams by abstracting away a lot of the complicated SQL modeling necessary into an easy to configure YAML format. The YAML informs the SQL produced. The SQL produced informs the output tables materialized. The outputs can then be integrated back into your more core data modeling and BI tools used throughout the business. In this video series, we will illustrate a profile's use case by following along a fictional business called Secure Solutions LLC as they try and create these robust customer records in their warehouse. Secure Solutions is a security company that sells and distributes security IoT devices through various e-commerce channels. They recently launched a security subscription service that they want to gain traction on. This new service will create an additional, more stable and predictable revenue stream for the business. They want to work on converting past buyers to subscribe and convert new users to buy the subscription, along with the IoT devices they purchase through their Shopify store. They would like to focus their marketing efforts towards channels and journeys that have led to higher conversion rates with lower customer acquisition costs in order to drive more users towards these desired conversions. In order to do this, they will need to unify their customers' journeys from the past, have infrastructure in place to map new user journeys as they happen, and build helpful features across all their customers in order to appropriately create audiences and cohorts to tailor marketing experiences to. With more personalized marketing, Secure Solutions believes that they will be better able to deliver the right messages at the right time, ultimately resulting in higher revenues by increasing conversion rates and reducing their customer acquisition costs. They also would like to enable sending push notifications to their users based on camera activity, but they would have to know what camera IDs belong to what users. They have an event stream source coming from their IoT devices, but these cameras only have a device ID, not any user identifiers. Until they resolve the device IDs to their owners, they are blocked on achieving this. These are great use cases for profiles. Throughout this video series, we will continually refer back to the use cases that Secure Solutions is trying to unlock. This will help us continually reorient 
to what we are trying to do in each step and the direction that we want to go as we are developing a profiles project. Now that we have established what profiles is and the use cases we will solve for in this series, in the next video we will dive into Secure Solutions Rudderstack Workspace.